What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing another declutter video. You guys seem to really like my first one where I decluttered my palette collection. If you guys have not seen that, I will link it right here on the screen in the cards so you guys can just click to watch after this video is over. But today we are going to be decluttering my highlight collection. Highlighters are definitely something that I hoard. I love highlights and I literally have so many, like way more than I could ever use. So I want to go through my collection today, declutter it, and really find the ones that I will actually get use out of and then donate or throw away the rest. I would only be throwing away products that are expired. And honestly, I probably have some expired highlights because I hoard stuff for a long time. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I think for my next declutter, I'm either going to do foundations or lip products. So let me know down below in the comments which one you guys want to see first. And I will do that one first. But those are definitely like my next two categories of makeup that I have so much of that needs to be decluttered. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can be notified of all of my future uploads. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into decluttering. Okay, so we are first gonna start right up here. This is like on my vanity. So these are my most used highlighters. I actually have blushes, highlighters, and bronzers in these little organizers right here. So these are not gonna be being decluttered just because these are like literally my most used, my absolute favorites. But I figured that I would show them to you guys first so you know like my favorite highlights. And then we'll get into where I keep my other highlights like in drawers and those are the ones that we're gonna declutter. So this highlight right here is probably my most used. You can definitely see there's literally like foundation, lash glue all over this guy. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. You can tell it's heavily used. It's a beautiful highlight. This is in shade. It's actually been like scratched off because I use it so much, but I believe this is 01 because this is the other one and this one is, oh no, this one is 01. So the one that's my absolute favorite is 02. That's more of a golden highlight. This is another one that I love. This one is more pinky toned, so this one is 01. Same Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. Then we have the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Gold. And the rest of this row is all bronzers. Over here we have some Laura Geller. I really like these because they kind of allow you to custom create a highlight. There's like a shimmer shade and then like a straight up glitter that you can mix together. So this is their High Def Glow Illuminator Duo in Bed of Roses. And then I have the same one in the shade Heart of Gold. This one is actually um, my favorite. I like more golden tone highlights as I'm sure you guys will be able to tell. And then the last highlight that we have is a new favorite of mine. This is from L'Oreal and this is their crushed foil metallic highlighter. I've really been liking this, so I just recently put it up here. So those are kind of like my most used favorite highlights. Oh, I forgot that we have this guy back here. This is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Um, I like this one a lot too. This one is in the shade Golden Sand. So I use that quite a bit as well. Um, so those are my favorite highlights. Now we're gonna get into the decluttering. Okay, so I keep my highlights in a variety of different places, but a lot of them are in this Alex 9 drawer right here. I have some of them organized in the more front part of the drawer in an organizer, and then I have just kind of loose ones in the back. So we're gonna go through these ones because these I have not gone through in a while. So. We're just gonna get started. First, we have this e.l.f. one. Um, I've kept onto these for a long time just because they are affordable, so I like to use them in more affordable tutorials, but I will probably go ahead and donate this one. It's a little bit dark, um, so I don't know that I will use it. Then we have another one from e.l.f. This one is lighter, so this one I would keep um, if I can open it. There we go because this is a shade that I would get use out of, so I will keep this one. Then we have this Lancome highlight. This is definitely really old. I feel as though I've had this for a really long time, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and toss this one because I think that this is too old to even be donated. I believe that it's probably expired because um, I've had it for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one. Next, we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one because it is limited edition. A lot of you guys were asking me in my last declutter why I donate a lot of things that are limited edition. And the reason for that is that I don't like to use things on my channel that are limited edition that you guys can no longer get because it's kind of like a tease. You know, if I'm using something that I really like that you guys can't even purchase if you wanted to. So I try and not really include tons of limited edition stuff on my channel just so I can always include products that you guys are actually able to purchase. Um, so since this is no longer available, I'm gonna go ahead and donate it to somebody else. And then and same goes with this one as well. This is also Wet n Wild, also limited edition, so I'm gonna donate it. Next we have, oh, these ones. Oh my gosh, these are from the Estee Edit, which is no longer a brand. It doesn't even really look like I used this one, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and donate these. The Estee Edit was a really great brand. I honestly really liked their stuff, but um, they are no longer a brand anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. And then this one is the same thing as well. This is from the Estee Edit. Um, oh, I think it's actually like the same shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that to somebody that can use it. Then we have a Tarte highlight back here. This one looks pretty. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this highlight. This was from like their Unicorn collection, I believe. 
Ah, oh, the Spellbound Glow. This one is limited edition, but I think I am gonna keep this just because this is a really cool highlight. As you guys can see, there's like a variety of different shades and I really liked this one. I don't normally love like colored highlights, but I do remember really liking this one, so I am gonna keep this. And we have this little Becca guy up here. This must be a little um, like travel size. It even has like the little packaging still on it. I don't know what shade this is. It is in the shade Opal. This is one of their poured. I am gonna go ahead and keep this guy since I have not used it yet. Then we have a Wet n Wild. This one is one of their Mega Glow and Precious Petals. This is not limited edition. I love this highlight, so I'm going to keep it. Then we have a Wet n Wild limited edition Mega Glow. Gonna go ahead and donate. And same goes for this one as well from Wet n Wild. Then we have these Too Faced highlighters. I love the packaging on these. They're so, so pretty. And the highlights themselves are really stunning as well, so I am going to keep all three of these Too Faced ones. And then in the back here, we have Ofra. This is their older packaging. They did just repackage everything. Um, this is in the shade Blissful, but I am gonna go ahead and keep this because I do really like this shade. And I don't know that I have this in the new packaging yet, so I'm gonna keep it. Moving along here, we have Milani. Honestly, I don't get much use out of these ones. I don't really know why. I don't think they're bad by any means. These are their strobe lights. Um, this one is a little bit light, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one. Then we have this one. This one is a little bit more golden. This would be a shade that I would probably use, so I will go ahead and keep this. Then we have another Ofra highlight. This one is really old. This one is Beverly Hills. Is that correct? I feel like the Beverly Hills looked different than this. I don't know. Um, but this one has a variety of different shades in it. I am gonna go ahead and donate this one. I haven't got that much use out of this one. Then we have another Ofra highlight. This one is in Rodeo Drive. This is my favorite, favorite highlight from them. Again, they do have new packaging, but I am gonna keep this because I do love it. Then we have, oh my gosh, the Bomb Mary Luminizer. You guys, I'm pretty sure this was my first highlight that I ever had, like ever. Um, so I feel like I just have to keep it because of that. Let me see if I can open it. Oh, this must be like a brand new one because I definitely have like multiple of these somewhere. Um, but this one looks like it has not even been touched. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have Urban Decay. These are their Afterglow highlighters. Oh, this looks, this is like very, very pinky. It almost looks like a blush, but it is a highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I don't typically love super pink highlights. Then we have another one of the Afterglow. This one is, oh, this one's Sin. I remember this one is really pretty, but I honestly haven't got much use out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then in the back here, we have a, another Ofra highlight. This one is again, and, um, oh, this is the Illuminating Blush Stripe. So this is almost like a blush. Let's see if I can open this. Why am I struggling <laughs> opening everything today? Um, but yeah, I'm not crazy about like the different stripes on most highlights. It kind of depends on the highlight. But with this one, you guys can tell I have not got much use out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and donate. And then on this last little row over here, we have a bunch of the Laura Geller highlights. These are amazing. I love her highlights. This one is Gilded Honey. Definitely going to keep this. I'm going to put these in a separate row since they're all kind of the same. I'm gonna keep all of the Laura Geller ones actually because I really do love her highlights. This one is Peach Glow. Then we have Charming Pink. This one is a deeper one. This one is in the shade Ballerina. This one is pretty dark, so I'm not sure how much use I will get out of it, but I am gonna keep it just in case I get like tan. Maybe this would be a good body highlight for me. Then we have, oh, this is bright. This is a blush. Um, this is one of their baked swirl blushes in papaya. This is really, really pretty, but this is not in the right drawer. So I am gonna keep this, but I'm gonna put it with the rest of my blushes. And then last but not least, oh my gosh, I love this one. This is Diamond Dust, super, super pretty. And then we have two more Tarte highlights in the back here. We have this one in the shade Exposed. I am gonna keep this. And then we have this one in the shade Stunner. Also gonna keep this guy. Now we can move on to this mess of stuff that we have in the back here. Right on top, I see a Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Rose Gold, so this is a newer one. I do really like this, so I am gonna be keeping that. Then we have this Urban Decay one. This is new. I did actually try it in a video, and I actually really liked it, despite thinking that I was not gonna like it because of the color. It was actually really pretty on the skin, but this would not be an everyday highlight for me, and I feel like someone might be able to get more use out of it than I will, so this is in Disco Queen. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Then we have another Oprah one. I think this is their collab with Nikki Tutorials. Yes, Everglow. I do really, really like this one. And, and these two shades specifically, I remember I really liked. This one is a little bit deep on me, um, but I am going to go ahead and actually donate this one. Then we have, this is from Becca. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. How have I not used this yet? What is this shade? Vanilla Quartz. So yeah, I like still have the packaging on. Definitely gonna keep this one. Then we have Wet n Wild, another limited edition highlighter. This was from like their Skull um, collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. We have another Ofra highlight. Oh my gosh. This one is in Rodeo Drive. So I already kept one full Rodeo Drive. So I am gonna go ahead and donate this guy just because 
already have another one. Then we have another Becca. This one, this one looks a little bit deeper, but it still looks pretty. This is in the shade Opal. I feel like this is like the second one in Opal that I've pulled out, but the other one was um, a liquid. This one is the pressed one, so I am gonna keep this. Then over here, we have like these little guys. These are from Makeup Forever. So these are like little um, starlit powders. So these you could use like on your face. Like I think you could put them on your eyes and stuff too. I am gonna go ahead and keep these guys, but they can't fit in there, so I'm gonna just put them to the side for right now. And then I do have a little artist couture. I believe this is like a sample or like a deluxe size. I don't think this is full, but this is in the shade Illuminati and I am gonna keep this. I really like this. Then in the back here, we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. Definitely gonna keep this. I love this. I'm just putting the stuff that's in the back, like on the sides so and we can organize it at the end. And then I have the two um, Smashbox Casey Holmes highlighter palette. I'm not sure that these are out anymore. I remember really liking them when I tried them, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate these ones to somebody that could probably get more use out of them. Then I have another Wet n Wild highlight all the way in the back here. I remember this was a huge thing when it first came out, Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch, like people loved this. This is a really pretty highlight, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. And then I have another Wet n Wild. This is the Illuminating Palette in the shade Cat Walk Pink. <laughs> Um, let me see. Oh, this has not even been opened yet. You know what? I'll go ahead and donate that to someone. Now I see we have a bunch of little Becca ones. Like these are like more travel size or what are these? So these are their light chaser highlighters and this says for face and eye. Oh wow, that's pretty, but I will honestly never use that because it's so pink. So I'm gonna donate that. Then we have this one. This is Opal Flashes Jade. This looks really pretty too, but I am gonna donate. I'm really just trying to keep only the ones that I actually think I really will get use out of and donate the rest to someone that can actually like use it better than I can. This one is Pearl Flashes Gold. Ooh, this one is pretty. Okay, I will keep this one. I feel like I will get use out of this. Then this one is Topaz Flashes Guilt. This one is also really, really pretty. I will keep this. Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. Let's see. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. And then Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. Let's see. This one is really pretty, but I probably won't get used, so I'm gonna donate. Then I think we have another one of the little Makeup Forever Star Lip Powder, so I am gonna keep that. Then I have this little Tarte Guy. Oh, this is their Spellbound. I remember really, really liking this. This was from one of their collections, um, and you can use this like on your body as well, so I am gonna keep this. Then we have some palettes over here. So I have this Flower Beauty Palette. I remember thinking this was really, really nice. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this um, highlight from them. Then we have the Models Own Sculpt and Glow. Oh my God, those pan sizes though, that is huge. But I'm gonna go ahead and donate this to somebody that could get more use. Then we have the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay Highlighter. I remember thinking this was really nice as well. But again, I believe this is limited edition and not sold anymore, so I'm gonna donate it. Then I have the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. And you guys, I just realized I lied before. The Mary Luminizer was not my first highlighter. I believe this was. And I remember putting this underneath my eyes as like a concealer. It was absolutely terrible. But I remember my mom buying this for me forever ago in Sephora. This is not the original one um, that my mom bought me, but this is definitely a very, very old. So I am gonna go ahead and toss this because I think it's too old to even be donated. I think it's been expired. So gonna toss this guy. Then I have the Anastasia Glow Kits over here. So honestly, I don't reach for these that often, but I am gonna keep them just because I know so many people own these. So I do like to use them in videos from time to time just so I can use products that a lot of you guys have. So I am gonna keep this. And then I have another one of her glow kits as well. Um, this one is a lot more cool toned, but I am gonna go ahead and keep that. Then back here, oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most beautiful highlighter you will ever see. This is from Lancome. Just wait for it. I haven't even used this because it's so beautiful. I don't know if I will ever use it. I just wanna keep it because it's so, so pretty. Like this is literally a highlighter. Is that not the most stunning thing you've ever seen? So definitely keeping this for my collection. And then it looks like we have a BH highlighter. Oh, we have a little mascara flying out back there. But we have a B&H highlighter kit. Um, this one, honestly, I don't, ever think I've used, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. And we will put this mascara in the mascara drawer. Maybe this should be our next declutter because I have a lot of mascaras, so I'm just gonna put that in there for now. Okay, so we did a pretty good job, honestly, on this drawer of decluttering. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the other things that um, we said we were gonna keep, and we will be done with this drawer. All right, moving on over here, I have a lot more highlighters in this drawer. This one is a little bit 
more crazy than the other one, but we're gonna go through it and we are gonna see what we're gonna keep and what we're not. So up first we have NARS right here. This is really, really pretty and I have not got a chance to use it yet, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. Then I have this e.l.f. Holographic Duo Highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I also have not gotten a chance to try it. Then we have another NARS. This is the NARS Maui Ray. Oh, this one was so, so pretty. This is limited edition, I believe, but I am gonna go ahead and keep it because the shade is beautiful. Then I have a bunch of Lancome highlights, so let's go through and see which shades we wanna keep. This one is super golden, so I will keep this. Then we have this one. This one is also pretty golden. It's a little bit deeper, but I am going to keep this one as well. Then we have this one. Is this the same shade? I feel like this is the same color. Dazzling bronze. Okay, this one is a little bit darker, so I will go ahead and donate that. Then we have this guy. This one's super, super light, so I'm going to donate it. And then last but not least, we have this one, which this also looks like all of the other ones, so I'm going to just go ahead and donate this one. Then we have these little guys. These are from Violet Voss. These are their loose highlighters. I'm going to go ahead and donate this one. Then we have this pretty golden one. I'm going to keep this one. And then we kind of have like a pinky iridescent one. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. Then we have this little Becca palette here. This one is super pretty, but honestly, I haven't gotten much use out of it, so I'm going to go ahead and donate. Then we have another e.l.f. holographic highlight. Since I kept the other one in the shades that I thought that I would get use out of, I'm going to donate this. Then we have an Ofra highlight. This one I really like. This is like a full size from the, um, this is glazed donut, so this is like full size of the Nikki Tutorials collab, so I am going to go ahead and keep this. Then we have another Ofra highlight. This one is again um, Blind the Haters, full size from the Nikki Tutorials collab. This one is a little too dark as a highlight on me, so I'm gonna donate it. Then we have another Ofra one, so many Ofra. This one is in Bali. I don't think I have this one. Um, like we haven't seen this one yet, so I am gonna keep this. Then I have a palette back here. This is a Wet n Wild highlighter palette. Um, honestly, as you guys can tell, I haven't gotten really any use out of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then I have a Makeup Forever. This is like a pan face color. This looks like almost a bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. And then we have another one as well going to donate. And then I have a Makeup Forever like in this little case, which is really cute, but ooh, oh, oh my lord. I literally just dug my nail into that. Okay, I'm going to throw this one out because now I don't want to donate it. I was going to donate. Oh man. Then I have this guy. This is from Burberry Beauty, which is like so bougie but this is really, really pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have another Makeup Forever. Let's try not to dig my nail into this one. Oh, this is kind of like a highlight blush duo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and donate this guy. Then we have another, we have a lot of these little Makeup Forever quad sort of things. If I can open it, they're hard to open. Oh, This one we have two highlights and a blush. I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. Then we have one more, and this one is a highlight, a bronzer, and a blush, and this is my favorite highlight. It's just kind of in like palette form, so like I said, I am gonna keep this one as well just because I use this highlight all the time. Then we have these little Burberry. These are like highlighting pens from Burberry. Um, like they look like this. Honestly, I probably won't get, I don't know why my camera isn't focusing on it. Hello, sir. I don't know why it's not focusing, but I'm gonna donate these. Then I have the Too Faced Candy Johnson collab um, highlight stick. This is really, really beautiful, but again, um, it is limited edition, so I'm gonna donate. Then I have a Maybelline. This is the Master Bronze Face Studio. I'm surprised I haven't gotten more use out of this. This is actually like a really nice palette, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have another one of those Makeup Forever like random things, so I'm gonna donate this. Then I have another um, Laura Geller highlight. I'm gonna keep this. And one more as well. This one is in the shade Ballerina. Again, gonna keep this. Then we have a bunch of these L'Oreal Infallible, like these, they're Pro Glow. I don't, this is kind of weird because it's kind of like a face powder. These honestly aren't really highlights. I have a lot of them, so I'm gonna keep some of them. This one looks like it's a good shade for me as like a face powder, so I'm gonna keep it. Then we have this one. This one also looks like it could match me. Gonna keep that. This one is a little dark, so I will donate it. And then we have this one, which this looks like it could be a good match, I'm gonna keep it. But those honestly should be in like my foundation powder drawer, not in my highlight drawer. <laughs> then we have the Pixie Aspen Ovard um, highlight. This is a really, really pretty highlight. It's super light though, so I am gonna go ahead and donate it. Oh, then we have another Laura Geller in here, gonna keep this. Then moving towards the back here, we have another one of those e.l.f. holographic um, duos. I'm gonna donate this. Then we have the Pure Highlighter Palette. I honestly don't get much use out of this, so I'm gonna donate it. 
Then we have a ton of these wet and wild highlights. I'm just gonna kind of move them towards the front. Um, but these I really, really like, so I'm probably gonna keep most of them. This one is in Golden Flower Crown. I'm gonna keep this. Then we have a more pinky one. This one is Botanic Dream. You know what, honestly, I'm gonna donate this because I don't know that I'll get tons of use out of it. Then I have this like purpley one, which I'm going to donate. Then we have Blossom Glow. I'm gonna keep this. Precious Petals, which is one of my favorites. Gonna keep that. And Crown of My Canopy. This one is a little bit too dark, so I am gonna donate this. Oh my gosh, another Laura Gallery. These guys are coming from everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Then we have a pretty vulgar highlight. This one is really, really pretty. Like the shade looks stunning. Shimmering Swan. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Then we have a pretty vulgar blush, which should not be in here. This is really pretty, but I'm going to keep it, but put it in the blush drawer. Then we have, ooh, drawer almost fell there. We have a Tarte highlighter palette. They have so many highlighter palettes, but let's see this one. Ooh, this one is really, really nice because it's like blushes and highlights. So I am going to go ahead and keep this guy. This is really nice. So I'm just going to put that back in there. And then all the way in the back, we had a couple more of those powders, the Pro Glow. So this one looks a little dark. I will donate it. Same goes for this one and same goes for this one. It's a little dark. And I forgot we have a couple more down here as well. So let's just go through. I have a lot of Fit Me um, powders on the side here. So those I'm going to be keeping or at least not decluttering today. Um, but I have some highlights and random stuff over here. So we have this Wet n Wild. This was from their um, Skull Collection. Again, I am going to go ahead and donate this. Then we have a huge size of the Laura Geller Diamond Dust. I'm going to keep this. And we have the Too Faced Unicorn Tears. This one is from their Unicorn Collection. This is, oh, this is actually kind of like a bronzer. Um, so this shouldn't be in here but I'm gonna keep it. And we have another one from their Unicorn collection. I think this is the more Unicorn highlight. Yes, this is just so, so pretty, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this is, oh, this is their Peach Perfect Powder, so I'm gonna leave this in here as a powder. I have a bunch of Pop Beauty highlights in here. So first we have this one. This is in the shade Lunar Light. This is really pretty, but it looks like it might be a little too dark for me, so I'm going to donate it. Then we have this one. This one is lighter. This is in the shade Gilded Light. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Then we have this one. This is a more pinky kind of light one, but I do actually really like this. This is in the shade Celestial Light. I'm going to keep this. And then last but not least, we have this one, which is kind of like a peachy shade. This one is Stellar Light, and I'm going to keep this. Then we have all of these loose highlights here. These are all from Violet Voss as well. This one is Coconut cream pop. I'm going to keep this. It's like a pretty golden shade. Then we have this more blue one. This is a shade Crescent. I'm going to donate this. Then we have a pretty bronzy one in the shade Tangerine Dream. I'm going to keep this one. Then we have Grapefruit, which is like this pretty light pink. I'm going to donate this. And then we have Daydream, which is a pretty light golden, which I'm going to keep. Then we have the Gold Rush. I think this is a blush, honestly. Um, this is from Benefit. I'm going to keep this. And then we have a couple of these new Smashbox collabs. Um, this one is the Smashbox Wada Petal Metal Highlighter. So this one is super, super pinky. It's so, so pretty, but I honestly probably won't get 10 tons of use out of it. And it's not going to be around forever because it is a collaboration. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this. Then we have another one from that collection. This one is the more golden one. I'm going to keep this. And then we just have the peach blur um, powder. This one is not a highlight, so I'm going to keep that. All right, you guys. So I am super pumped because I was able to consolidate all of my highlighters into this drawer. Aside from these four, I just have these four little palettes right here that I could not fit in, but I will find a place for them but everything else I was able to consolidate into this drawer so I'm super excited about that and we have all of these highlights that are going to be donated I'm so excited I donate to two different women shelters one in New York City and one in New Jersey so I'll probably split this half and half between the two but yeah super excited to be able to donate all of these as well to somebody that can use them uh, better than I could so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching I hope that you liked this little highlight collection declutter I'm super excited that everything was able to fit really nicely and yeah thanks for hanging out with me guys I'll see you very soon in my next video bye